right, John Corcoran here at Retail X in Chicago, and we're talking with Molly Bryant from Seller Labs. We're going to be talking about some of the things that they're doing to help sellers with getting started with advertising. So tell us a little bit about Seller Labs and what you do for Seller Labs. I am the Vice President of Marketing for Seller Labs, so I oversee all of the things that we do to get really information in the hands of sellers about how to build their businesses on Amazon. Uh, that's a huge, huge place, and it's very complicated to run a profitable business on Amazon. Uh, it's constantly changing, so I help to get messages out there and help people to understand the tools that are available that can help them build those profitable businesses. And so Seller Labs has, I forget, three, four, five, six, 17 <laughs> different, <laughs> different software products that, that help, with the, uh, help sellers, Amazon sellers, with a variety of different areas. So just briefly mention what those tools are. Sure, so we have products for running the entirety of the growth side of the Amazon business. So uh, everything from keyword research to um, an analysis, reporting and analysis, to our Ignite product for advertising, and also, of course, our flagship product, Feedback Genius, for review solicitation. But we also have a services division um, that helps customers who want to outsource advertising. Right. And I was interviewing your colleague, Jeff Cohen, yesterday, who was talking about that, and that's a new division, the services division, which is, which is or relatively new, I guess, yeah. which was interesting to hear. So um, you were saying, we were talking earlier about how uh, a lot of the sellers that you're talking to are selling on Amazon already and they're not advertising. They realize they need to, but they're not sure how to get started. So talk to me about how you advise them. Yeah, so I've had a lot of great conversations at the event uh, today and yesterday and, and the themes that I hear are really either I'm getting started on Amazon and I don't know how to make this thing work. Um, or I'm selling on Amazon and it's not doing a lot for me. So how do I make Amazon explode? So what I tell those customers and uh, sellers is really that there are a few things that we know Amazon weighs very heavily. We know that reviews, product reviews are critical. We know that listings have to be optimized based on what people are searching for. And we know that you need to sell more product in order to impact your organic ranking. So what I tell those uh, sellers is really, you need to, to be firing on all pistons uh, in order to see the rapid growth of your rank um, to get your product in front of buyers. So what I normally kind tell of a, them- Kind of a chicken or an egg <laughs> it, problem, it isn't really it? Is. Yeah. So what I tell them to do is to start thinking about their customer. So who are their buyers? And then dig into um, the keyword research available. Our product scope is a powerful one for doing that research to find out what people are searching on, how many, how many tens or 20,000 uh, 20, or, or 100,000 people are searching on products or solutions for the, the problem that your product solves. And then start from there to optimize around those things they're searching for, both in your listing and in the advertising. One of the great things our product Ignite does is that once you start down that path, it actually does the optimization for you. So it is possible to get started without knowing a ton about these things on Amazon with a few quick tips. Okay, and then the, it actually makes the changes or optimizes the ads so the ads become more effective over time. It can, you can set it to automatically do that. The key is that really Amazon and its algorithm constantly changing. That's the only thing we know is always happening, constant change. So the best thing to do is not try to do it all yourself and use the tools that work for you, um, outsource that pain and, and try to find out new techniques, test them, fail fast as they say, or scale fast uh, if they work for you. But really leverage uh, optimization and software when you can to cut down on the amount of work it can take. Yeah. What other changes are you seeing that are affecting Amazon sellers today? So the big thing that I'm keeping an eye on right now is uh, data. So we know that Amazon does not do uh, let's just say that Amazon not the doesn't, most generous with sharing. Yeah, they're data. not the most generous with sharing data about buyers. And so my eye is on the data that is available. What can we learn and what can sellers learn about uh, the data that is available either to them directly or what we can expose via our tools and software using APIs. I'm especially keeping my eye on customer behavior data. So that means 
when are uh, customers not only buying, uh, but looking at products? When are they searching? Uh, what, are, what are the trends and what is the overlap between people uh, browsing for certain solutions or products and actually taking the action to buy? What else do they buy? How often do they buy? Who's new? Who's a repeat buyer? What are the learnings that we can glean from the data? And then how can we basically rubber stamp success and do it over and over and over again? How can we replicate the things that work and identify the things that don't for every seller uh, or specifically for unique sellers? How can we improve that uh, ability to act? That's the thing that I'm keeping my eye on. That's what I think is really the future of digital selling. Are there any other challenges that uh, Amazon sellers in particular are experiencing uh, or coping with right now that you're watching? Uh, well, there's a lot. Um, of course, customers are, are really struggling with Amazon as a partner. I hear it again and again. Their products are either being poached in a way or what they're starting to see is that um, Amazon has forced them into advertising because they, their products are, are plummeting in the ranks, organic ranks, because it's, they're being edged out by advertising uh, sponsored product ads. So I think uh, sellers right now are really struggling with uh, Amazon's model and their approach to serving sell sellers. They're trying to figure out ways also to combat um, counterfeiters. That's another huge theme that we're hearing about. Um, there are ways to win on Amazon doing it the right way, but it's a struggle. It's a cutthroat market. And so you really do need to keep your eye on what works and be shrewd. Um, but I think sellers across the board are, uh, they're a crafty bunch. They start businesses because they want to be uh, successful and they're, they're willing to put the elbow grease in to do it. Yeah. We've been talking to Molly Bryant of Seller Labs. And Molly, where can people learn more about Seller Labs? Well, of course, go to our website, www.sellerlabs.com. Um, check us out at our booth and uh, can't wait to hear from you. All right, we're doing interviews all day from RetailX here in Chicago.